So, welcome to our second screencast, which is looking at why population growth is occurring. If you think back to the last session, one of the things we discovered was that world population was going up re very rapidly. And to develop this, we need to figure out why this is occurring. So, our first part is we need to understand keywords. These You can be tested on these in the examination. It's important that you're aware of what the different keywords mean. So, just quickly going over these. First off, we've got birth rate. Birth rate is measured in the number of babies born per thousand people in a country. Okay, For a country like the UK, this is generally around 10. The death rate is very similar to the birth rate in that it is again measured in by a thousand people, and the death rate is the number of people dying per thousand people. When we combine these factors together, we learn what the natural increase is and the natural increase is the difference between the birth rates and the death rates okay as long as the birth rate is higher than the death rate then the population will increase so as geographers you can be examined on the factors which affect both birth rates and death rates now a useful way of thinking about whenever you get a question like this is using this development compass rose which allows us to think about various different factors so we can think about environmental factors economic factors social factors and political factors if we consider all of these factors together or individually this allows us to come up with various reasons why I'm going to come up with some ideas these this is not a definitive list and you, there are many more which I'm sure your teachers will have gone through with you in class and you can find out more about on the internet so an environmental factor which affects the death rate would be something such as the climate if you have extremes of drought um, then in all likelihood your death rate is going to go up this can be seen in Ethiopia as an example in 1984 or Somalia in 2010 economic factors which can affect the death rate relate to poverty areas of extreme poverty aren't able to necessarily um, provide for themselves as, well, as effectively and consequently their death rate is higher this is why a lot of LICs in the world have very high death rates a social factor which can affect the death rate is to do with um, people, it's to do with personal choice as much as anything. Okay, And then you have political factors as well which will affect the death rate. This considers investment in medicines, investments in healthcare, um, but also investments in the uh, facilities in the country such as sanitation, such as um, water supply to ensure that people are provided for because if you have um, good sanitation and clean water supply then your death rate will go down. Birth rate is similar. There aren't really any environmental factors which affect the birth rate but economically there clearly are. One of the key things in the UK now is that our birth rate is going down. This is partly due to the cost of bringing up a child. With the average cost of a, of a child being raised from the age of birth to 21 being on average £186,000. Now what this means is that families in wealthier countries such as HSC, such as the UK, are choosing to have less children. Another key thing which is affecting the birth rate is um, medical care and the fact that children are surviving for longer so infant mortality goes down. This is due to inoculations against childhood diseases. Okay? Um, in this country this would be something like um, measles and mumps. A social factor which controls birth rate, as an example, is the education of women or religious beliefs in a country. For, in for instance, um, in Catholic and Islamic countries they do not allow birth control and consequently their birth rates tend to be higher. Um, also as a social factor, people having a personal choice and if you've got a high level of education very often women are choosing to have a career as opposed to having children and therefore they're having babies later. Um, political factors which affect birth rates are becoming more common and one of the key ones is something such as what's happening in China with the one child policy as an example. There are also other countries which provide incentives to increase the number of children and we'll look at Singapore later on um, in this talk. So these are the different ideas uh, which can affect birth rates and death rates. Now following this is an example of an exam question which has been asked at one point in time. This was off the June 2011 paper. 
and they said that one reason for world population growth is falling death rates. Give reasons why death rates have fallen. This kind of question should take you between two to three minutes. It shouldn't take you very long. And it is literally a case of giving reasons. Okay, so if it says give reasons, you need to give your ideas. That means you need three ideas. Pause the video and write an answer to this question. So, you should have come up with your answer to that question. Now, now, the next slide will look at a model answer. These are some ideas, and this is directly from the Mark scheme. So, one of the things which, one reason why you could um, control um, death rates is the introduction of new medicines. That would have got you one mark. Now, you could have got a second mark by developing that, by giving an, ex for instance, so to combat diseases such as cancer. Another example, as I mentioned earlier, was vaccinations for young children. And then again, you could have got a second mark for against these diseases such as malaria. So it's just a question of developing your ideas. You don't have to always with a give reasons question, though, develop your ideas. You could just give three simple ideas. So new medicines, improvements in medical care for pregnant mothers, better diet, clean piped water. If you feel that you have written three ideas but you're not sure of one, Add a fourth, it's not going to do any harm. This ends today's screen conference.